Hi, this is Mike with Sorcery, and today I'm going to be showing you how to share content from Sorcery with any of your clients or customers. So all I've done so far is just sign into the Sorcery platform, and I've navigated over to the Collections tab here. As you can see, I have my collections. These will be my collections that I've created or that have been shared with me as a creator. There's shared collections, which are shared amongst multiple people or ones that I've uh, chosen to follow, and there's also followed collections, which will be collections followed from the community library. In order to make a collection, we're just going to go to the bottom right here and we can choose Add New Collection. And all that'll do is just ask us to create a collection with a specific name. Once that's done, you'll have a screen similar to my test collection here, which will show you the name of the collection, the description, it'll also show the location if necessary and the cover photo. On top of that, there will also be this add photo section here for application shots of the fixtures contained within the collection. And on top of that, at the bottom here, this will be all the products that we've chosen to add to the collection, which can be browsed by image by clicking on the image, or it can be browsed by product information by clicking on any of the text. When adding a product, you only have to add the required fields marked with a red asterisk. And uh, that'll be things like product type, image, line drawing, manufacturer, manufacturer series name, website link, and you can also add a specification sheet link if you'd like. Once that's done, you'll just hit save, and this will allow you to uh, create that product within your collection. You can edit the name and information of a collection just by clicking on the pencil button beside the name. And what this will let you do is to edit any information like the title, you can edit the author, we can put in a location which is organized by a map when you start typing, and you can also put in a description. The logo can be uploaded from your computer, dragged and dropped into the window, or you can copy and paste. You can hit save to, to save any changes to that information. And once your collection is created, we really want to make sure that you are aware how to share this content with individuals that you're looking to consume it. What we can do is we can use the share button here. This will allow you to share with any specific email addresses that you want to share with. And you can share to anybody's email. They don't have to be a source or user. However, when you share this way, they will have to create an account that's free in order to view your content. When adding somebody, you can choose to add their email and choose whether they're going to be a viewer, in which case they can just view that content, an editor where they can add edits, or a creator which will have all the same permissions as the admin. You can also include a message that will be contained in the email that they'll get notifying them that you've invited them. Another way to share is a great tool with the share link button in the bottom left here. When we click that, it'll open up a window asking you to create a link. Once that's done, you can just choose Copy Generated Link, which will copy that to your clipboard. This link can be shared with anybody who's not a Sorcery user. They don't have to log into their account in order to view it. But once they click on this link, they'll be able to see all of the relevant collection information, including all products, as well as be able to interact with them the same way that we would on Sorcery. So like choosing an image, as well as clicking on the text to view that product information. This is a great way to share your collections with users that you want to be on Sorcery or with any clients or customers of yours because they'll be able to view all of your curated product information without having to visit your website or a manufacturer's website necessarily. And it's also curated content so it won't be organized just by manufacturer or by type. You can put in whatever products you'd like for them to see, whether it's after a lunch and learn and you want to share specific products with them, new releases, whatever it might be. What we've also done is included uh, an email template that you can use inviting somebody to view your collection through email as well as asking them to join Sorcery so that they can consume that content and use it. For example, when you share a collection with a specifier, you want them to create a Sorcery account because then what they can do is they can save these products to their own collections. And on top of that as well, they'll be able to immediately import them into schedules created on the Sorcery platform. On top of that, they'll be able to invite you to schedules so that you can collaborate with them on projects. And it makes the entire process from beginning to end when creating a project much simpler, more efficient, and overall faster. Lastly, we want to touch on the publish button here. You can always choose to publish any collection. 
in which case what will happen is that collection will be uploaded into our community library. And these are all collections that are publicly available to sorcery users so that they can browse through all the different collections, click on them, and choose to follow the collection as a whole, or they can follow specific products into their own collections for later use. Thank you so much. Definitely check out the email template contained within the video description to, for some tips in terms of how to share these and add somebody to the sorcery platform. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at mbishop at gosorcery.com.